Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 3 FES. Now tonight we're going back up in the Tartarus, into the white area, so if you're allergic to flashing light, allergic. If you have problems with flashing lights, you should probably hit the back button. Right now, I don't want you having a seizure. Because if you have seizures with flashing lights, you're probably going to have one up here. And I don't want to be responsible for that. <laughs> okay, so now that we've gotten over the covering my buttocks, you know, keeping it from flapping out in the wind, so to speak, let's get going. We're going to try and get to the next boss today. Whether how successful this will be, I don't really know, or I, I don't want to say care, but I mean, it doesn't really matter how far we get. We're going to have to go this way anyway eventually. <laughs> and why well not even bother killing small fries at that level? So let's just keep going to the other levels. You know, the levels where they said, they're way too powerful, run! No, that's where we're going to grind. <laughs> that's what I do. Block six, and the flashing begins. I can't help that. Well, I could maybe help that. I don't think I can, though. I can try. <laughs> uh, let's see. Screen off. What? <laughs> Why would I want to turn? Okay. Will that work? Will that turn it off? No, that doesn't really help at all. I actually, I think maybe made it worse. Well, I can't help it then. Oh boy. Oh, oh god. Oh man. Okay, well. I'm a little worried here. I'm just gonna tell you. I don't have a good feeling about this group. Okay, I should have had a good feeling about this group. We can still die, though. Especially considering Mitsuru really doesn't want to take her shot now, which was stupid. Thank you, Mitsuru. <laughs> Can somebody just kill them, please? Well, at least she killed one. At least she killed one. Alright then, so now that group's done. I don't have to worry about that group near so much now. And let's get the experience. That's number three. That's number three. Alright then. 10,000 experience! Holy shit. Well, uh, pretty sure we're not supposed to be here yet because it only takes me 12,000 to get to the next level. Oh well, that means we'll level up fast, you know. That's nothing else. And that is never a bad thing, leveling up fast. I've never said no to that in a video game yet. Pretty sure I had the drop on him. But, uh, maybe I didn't. <laughs> Does anybody remember what this is weak to? Because I sure as shit don't. I think it was either lightning or fire. Okay, it was fire. Well, this is just going by like clockwork, isn't it? I'll go for the weapon. Oh, jeez. Okay, what? Well, okay, I got it right. <laughs> Executioner's axe. That sounds like it could be fun to use, but unfortunately, it's not really what I want to use. Uh, where would that be? That would probably be under the bottom, near the bottom. Yes, execution. Holy hell! That is really good for a melee build, but uh, who the hell melees in this? Then the fact that you miss a lot more with axe type weapons, I wouldn't use it. But I'd, I, I'd use it my first time through. I was a heavy weapons user my first time through. The enemies are getting stronger too. Yeah, they probably are. So I'm counting on. Well, at least she's not yelling run. That's a, that's a, that's a plus compared to what she used to do, isn't it? Probably weak to electricity now I look at it. Well, it's not fire. <laughs> Maybe ice. I think electricity, though. Well, it's not wind, either. 
Oh, it is ice. Damn it, Mitsuru. Oh, God. Damn. Oh, man. Oh, that was a lot of instant death. I gotta pull out Succubus after this. I don't want to, but I got to. Because I'm not dying. I'm not lying. I'm not dying. Where is she? She has no light, so you're up, sweetie. I don't give a crap what you want to do, it's what you're doing. I hopefully Mitsuru will actually know what she's doing and just knock them down. That's what I need her to do. Which one goes first? That one goes first, so we're attacking that one. Well, that won't kill me. I know that much, that's about all I know. That was really lucky. <laughs> You know, if Mizuru could, like, get a turn, we might actually kill anything. Except she didn't really want to turn, she just kind of said, Nope, and now you're not going to get a turn. And now it's just kind of a, Why did you fuck us, Mizuru? Why did you try and do that? You didn't have to do that. You could have, like, just tried and just said, What the hell? But no. No, you just kind of charge up, and then you kind of just die there. Not a single care given is this tactical situation because you're dead. Maybe if you just cast a single thing in your life, you might have actually gotten through with them. And now you're just gonna try and make damn sure she can never cast, aren't you? Just to be as big of an asshole, and that's exactly what you're being right now. You're, I'm going to revive her, one way or the damned other. Now this is going to happen, and you can't stop me. Now you can accept that, and just let me get on with it. Or just... Fight me all the way, and then I get a laugh, and I eventually do it anyway, and kill you. So what's it gonna be, Hoss? Ah, you're electing for the way of the dick. Okay, we can go that way. I'm going to revive her. One way or the other, darling, this is going to happen. And she's going to kick your ass when she eventually does realize she has to cast. But no. Now you're gonna make damn sure she never gets up. Every time. Every freaking time. Well, at least they're not aiming for her again. They're going to die this turn. Provided she's actually intelligent enough to use the ice. Oh my god, she is. I'm so glad she didn't decide to just hem and haw about it and mind charge again for funsies. Seems like all she does nowadays is mind charge and tentara foo. Damn. Wasn't that hard to do. I hate just instant death. I hate a lot of things. I hate instant death. I hate not having control of my characters. And I hate a lot of crap like that. Holy crap, flashing lights in front of my face. That's getting annoying. <laughs> Evade electricity high is what we need. Yes. Get, get, I just want to get away from that light. Alright. Man, I forgot how in this game, everything's trying to outmaneuver you tactically. Excuse me, it can be really annoying. On the whole, uh, 220th floor, it's not that far away. It could be really annoying from the whole, just stop killing the one person that can kill you thing, but... It's a viable strategy. Oh, great. I'm guessing that's, uh, electricity weak, too. So, we're gonna bring out Thor for this one. Probably should've, well, I guess I can't do that now. What do you know I was right? Seriously, Mitsuru, dear. I call it from before, and you just do it now. All you do is mind charge. So what she do? She mind charges. That wasn't me telling you what I want you to do. That was kind of me bitching about what you were doing. <laughs> Holy crap, someone's actually tired, so I guess we're leaving. <laughs> I did not expect to see somebody get tired this late in the game, but, uh, hell, it happens. It, it will, yeah, it'll happen. So, now I get to use an item, because I, I should hope I have an item that I'm looking for here. If I don't, I'm in kind of a bad situation now. I don't have any now on me, do I? I don't have a single one of what I'm looking for. No? Oh, wait, yes, I do. Okay. Now we actually have a good reason for not being in Tartarus. Because Yukari's tired. So that was a hell of a thing.
That's a hell of an outing to Tartarus. But we're done, for now. But she went from like, what level, like 50 to 60 in one night? That's pretty good, man, from, a, from, a st from that standpoint. We have school tomorrow. Oh, that sucks. You know, who, who the hell likes going back to school? I never once in my life liked going back to school after a vacation. Nobody ever does, I don't think, unless you have a terrible home life. Which I should tell you, when I was in uh, elementary school, I hated the weekends. I didn't want to go. I didn't, I didn't want to stay home. <laughs> I should tell you how my home life was. Let's see now. As you know, whatever occurs during a dark hour, yes, yes. Person's injured, the attack's usually blamed on a robber. Yeah, I, I know how that goes. Alright, Nakahiko, you don't have to explain things from like April. I guess you do. <laughs> Everyone's interested in the cult, there are news reports on it every single day. Yeah, that's kind of been that way for the past few months, I don't know if you've noticed. But you want me to be the voice of optimism or the voice of reason? I'm usually the voice of reason. I'm not gonna tell you, it, well, I guess I could tell you it probably will, but I'm gonna try and make her feel better. It didn't really work, though. Brainwashed by the cult, probably. I don't care about his feelings. Let him worry. I'll try and make her feel better, but Junpei, you know, we guys, we gotta razz each other a little bit, man. We gotta see if we, you know, gotta test each other. Is he brave? Will he go? You gotta be scared the whole time. We men do that. We like to like test each other. But I don't know. It does it's not a very intelligent ritual, but we do it. Not everything about we men are logical. It can be quite illogical about a great many things. Nobody holds the monopoly on that one. We're all human, we all do stupid crap. <laughs> Oh, let's see. Where are we going to? Iwatodai, I believe. Iwatodai is should be where that dude uh, from my sports thing should be. Yes. Why do I even never remember your name, Mamoru? Holy crap! It was Mamoru. You think I would remember that? I actually did remember it, so I guess I did. Holy crap! We've made progress. I actually remembered something. I haven't got to do a social link in forever, it seems like. Holy crap. Not that I will get to now, but... You know, at least I got to see a little cutscene, I guess. And then, if Yukari is not plain tired, I guess we'll probably be going back into Tartarus. Jeez. She's probably still tired or sick, though, now that I think about it. One of the members isn't who don't feel good. Uh, yes. Guessing Yukari is the one sick. She's tired, so we're not going tonight. It's kind of important she's alright, so I guess we get a night off. So to facilitate having a night off, we're gonna go out and about. We haven't done that in months. Mostly because there wasn't a good reason to do it, but now I have a reason I feel like I want to do it. The reason is a good one in my mind. Because no matter what happens, we're gonna get something done tonight. I don't remember who the hell you are, but why are you out in the middle of the night? You know, it's people like you who give religion a bad name. Cleanse your impure mind. You just shut the hell up and just sit in there looking alright. No one wants to hear your yammering on about that. No. Well, depends. And my, if you're going by the cult thing, no. If you're going by in a general rule, I have to say yes. Well, actually, no. I, as a general rule, I don't think that's right either. So I'm not that denomination of Christian. Anyway, we're getting off topic now, and we need to get back onto it <laughs> before I piss somebody off with the religious ramblings. Okay. You want to tell me your life story while we're at it? I don't really. I didn't even know that part either. So now that we know that this lady was involved with, I think it was the Carrillo group, we now know why exactly she is able to do these things. It's kind of important. 
I could really use Balming or Balm of Life, but I hate to give up Pearls for it. Swine before Pearls or uh, Pearls before Swine, that's the one. I don't even know what that means. I think it just means like you throw something expensive in front of the hog. Which means you're throwing away money. I don't know what the hell that means. Trafuri gems are really nice, but I still have four of them. I don't need to get more. Uh, cards. Do I need cards? Hmm. Now, these cards are like the end game of Persona development, so to speak. These cards will get your most loved Personas all the way up to 99 in whatever it is there you want to do. And at the end of the game, they become sort of a... The only way you can really up your, your Persona's stats, besides leveling, which, itch, let me tell you one thing, folks. Leveling past, like, 70 is hard as hell. It takes a very long time. Although, having said that, I, at one on a few of my files, was, actually, before I do this, was actually mostly 99 on every single one of them. That's Thor, and Thor, I want to have... Well, Thor's really better with... Hmm. I guess I really want Cert. I want Cert here. Cert's the one I want up, up my magic on. A lot. You can up your magic and other Persona abilities by certain things at the game arcade. You just gotta pick the right one. Punching bag ups your strength. So I should give that to Thor. So we're gonna be doing that with Thor. Now, is it the biggest jump ever? No, not really. I mean, at least he has a... He doesn't even have... Well, he has Vicious Strike. I guess I... Damn it. I guess I probably should have given that to Cert, because Cert has the Death Bound. <laughs> Alright, fine. We're going with Cert. So that way, when I do use Death Bound, it'll at least do a little bit more damage. So, we're going to go punching. Punching things. Like Matt Murdock. Oh crap, I out a super secret identity. You showed the machine what you could dish out. Alright. Like I said, probably not the best use of time, just from a for some perspective, but We're we're focusing on a combat game, you know, so why not focus on our stats of our combat persona? It's gotta be better than just wandering around going straight to bed, right? I mean at least they get a attribute bonus this way. I'm betting there's going to be a cutscene here, because it's the first day back. Beginning of the third semester. I thought that said trimester. Beginning of the third semester. Trimesters, I'm pretty sure, related to something completely different. Note the music. No, this is totally new news that nobody in the city has ever heard of yet. Oh boy, yeah, let's, let's listen to the cult member talk. Oh yeah, that, with that attitude you'll get everywhere in life. <laughs> Why the hell are you two even doing homework at this point? Like, if I thought the world was ending, you think I'd be doing homework? Hell no, I'd be giving the professors the middle finger. That's if I genuinely thought it was going to be over. I, I probably wouldn't believe it either. But if I did believe it, I wouldn't be doing no damn homework, I'll tell you that. No more booze. Oh, nice to know Miss Toriyumi is a bit of a drunky. But, you know, I, I guess it's not my place to judge her. Let's see, I'm talking about the apostrophe. Oh, jeez. I was in English for 12 years, English classes for 12 years, and I still go, oh, jeez. Which one is the correct? It's wrong, it is wrong, or it's possessive wrong. I'm pretty sure it is wrong is the correct one. I was gonna say, if I didn't know that, then you might as well just say I got an F. Because <laughs> that, that was about the equivalent of getting an F if you miss that in English class. And the sad part is a lot of people do miss that. It's like, holy crap, how do you speak English? Then, then you go, no, I guess it's really, how do you write English? And then you realize that no one really writes English anymore. Because we're all texting, we're all chatting online. And you think people give a crap about getting proper pronunciation and apostrophes online? Very few do. I do, but, like I said, very few do. Kids today don't try. 
You have to learn how to spell, damn it. Let's see. Fashion Club. No, it is not Fashion Club, baby. It is the freaking Home Ec Club, okay? You need to get that right. I'm not going to no damn Fashion Club, because I hate fashion. You know why I hate fashion? Because the last time I looked at a fashion magazine, do you know what I saw on the front page? I saw a man dressed in what looked like an accordion, and they said that was, fa that was fashionable. It wasn't. Hey, uh, you busy? Could you uh, come with me for a sec? Uh, all right. Why not? Let's go to the rooftop. Oh God, you're not gonna, you're not gonna confess to me, are you? I'm not interested in you, Junpei. Why does everyone come out to me? Hey, we've really never had a chance to talk, have we? Is this going the way I think it is? It's almost coming of age day, you know? I don't know what that is. I used to just think of it as a day off. But now, I wonder if I'm even gonna live long enough to celebrate it. Yeah, me too. It's been pretty weird around here lately. People have been passing out. Others have gone missing. Dude, it's crazy. Senpai said it's because there are too many shadow victims and the memory revision can't keep up. It's all gotta be because of this Nyx. Oh, and have you heard about that doomsday cult? They've been running around town telling everyone they see that the end of the world is coming. Man, we need to do something. And quick. I agree, we do need to do something. That's why we've been going to Tartarus so often lately. But it's not just Nyx, you know. Two members of Strega are still alive. They haven't done anything yet. But I know they've got to be planning something. And we need to take care of them, too. Wow, becoming such good friends that I'd trust you with my life. <laughs> I never would have imagined that happening last spring. <laughs> but then again, I never thought it would come to this. Hey, uh, by the way, are you going out with Buka? Oh boy. Why? <laughs> no worries, that's cool with me. Fuka's a great girl, treat her right. Her and the others. You know, I don't think it's completely hit me yet. It's just all so hard to believe. But that doesn't mean we should just sit around and wait for it to happen. You're pretty cool, man. That thing was inside you for ten years. And you harnessed its power and made it your own. I'm glad I met you. It's embarrassing to say it, but... But that's really how I feel. Yeah, whatever. And we'll always be friends, right? I mean, even after this is all over? Well... In case I, in case something happens during this final fight, let's just let him have his happy tears or whatever in the world he's trying to feel. So yeah, sure, of course. Like I need to be told, we need to do something. I'm the leader, you don't need to tell me that. It's kind of obvious we have to do something. No, let's just let Nyx take over, you know. I appreciate what Junpei's trying to do there. He's trying to be the bigger man and try to, you know, Apologize for his dickish behavior in the past a little bit, but uh, I don't know. That would just seem like a little bit of a force thing, like he was trying to force it a little much. And I think he was. I think that was, they, they portrayed that pretty well because, you know, he was kind of forced. You know, we only have about 20 some days to live left. Why are we still making this? Shouldn't we be like convincing your father to do what you want to do instead of just sitting here like. Making dresses, or I'm sorry, kimonos. I don't want to be insensitive here. Making kimonos. If you want to know what I do? I'd ask. I'm not going to assume anything. Apparently, that was not the worst thing to say. Uh, oh, for him to concede. I thought he said it was time for us to concede. I'm like, why the hell did we just go to all this trouble to make this kimono if we're just going to concede? <laughs> okay. Just don't leave the country. That's all I ask. Oh, what? You want me to go with you? Okay. <laughs> I was hoping he wouldn't say, here, come with me. Like, what, am I supposed to convince your uncle now? 
I think that would have been a neat little social link thing. Just had like you have you meet his uncle, but I don't think you ever do. Because you can kind of tell what's going on. You, yeah, let's just hang on to false hope, which we know really won't be helping anything. I'll be expecting you to come back, you know. Oh, for God's sake, man! I know cultural norms are different over there, but I don't know about I don't know about in Japan, but we don't just start crying and wailing here. Unless as your very good friend, like if, you, if you're gonna cry in front of another male friend in my country, you better be like blood brothers. Because if you don't, if you're not, you ain't ever living that crap down. <laughs> These are the people I hung out with, but I didn't hang out with very nice people, though, so... I kind of just assume a lot of people aren't, I guess. We had one guy who cried. Oh, we never let him live that down. We were terrible people. He didn't deserve that, either. I feel terrible about that. But you're gonna cry in high school, which is equivalent like in a shark tank. You gotta accept the consequences of it. <laughs> okay, that's what the, You think I didn't want to cry at some point in my high school career? But I didn't, because I knew if I didn't. I knew if I did, I'd have to be in the middle of a shark tank. Don't trust anybody in high school. Cut the teachers. Trust them. But then you're gonna be t called the teacher's pet. As long as you don't mind that and get the benefits of it, it's actually rather nice being the teacher's pet. Where have you been? That's nice, Akihiko. I'm not bringing you in the final battle then. I don't want someone who doesn't care on my battle team. Well, we'll be going to Tartarus tonight, if uh, not now, but we'll be going to Tartarus tonight if I can ever find Fuka. Where is she? Oh, jeez, where's Fuka at? Oh, there she is. She's all the way over here. Everyone's okay, so yeah, we'll be going tonight, technically. So let me go save here real quick, and we shall call it a day, because it's almost been half an hour. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, so we're moving forward in January. Next time, we're going back into Tartarus, leveling up a bit more, and we'll see what happens. And probably find the boss next time, because there's only a few levels away. We kind of left before, so... Yep, see you then, everyone. Until then.